today guys we're going to make ChatGPT go against Gemini to create Clash Royale. Yes, Clash Royale as it is very trendy right now. And this time we are using 2.5 Gemini Flash. And please don't let me down in this video. No game engine in 15 minutes. Let's see who does better. Also click that like button and that hype button. I'm told you get a cool animation when you click that hype button. Anyways, let's start that timer and let's get straight to it. Let's ask ChatGPT, hey please build the Clash Royale game. Let's start with explaining the core features of Clash Royale so later it has a go plan what to build and we can compare both results with Gemini. Hey friends, I started to think it's cooking this time. This time around I have my money on Gemini. Gemini looks a bit different today and, and all of my friends are using GPT and I tell them keep using Gemini, let's see what it can do. Last time we used GPT and Gemini both let us down but this time I have a feeling it's different. Yo, this function is update tower HP, that looks pretty cool like the real in-game mechanics and it's been cooking for quite a while now, two minutes. It's done, it's done, let's copy this dope code and see what it does. The app I use is called VS Code. Let's create a new file, HTML and run this dope code. Whoa, this is literally Clash Royale. We have trophies and cards and there's a lot going on, not gonna lie. For the first iteration, this is really good. This is the first time we attempted to vibe code a 2D game in like 15 minutes. And friends, this is cooking. Let's put some archers and giants here. I'm kind of winning, I guess. These are the troops from Clash Royale, I guess. I mean, the giant looks a little bit chunky, but this is actually an amazing first iteration. So I think I'm winning. Let's let's see how many troops I can pour on this poor fellow. Okay, I think this was easy clip. Okay, it's time for Gemini. Let's give him 15 minutes and ask him the exact same question. We asked ChatGPT first to extract all the features because if he has a go plan, he will get better results done. And he's quite tinkering. We are using 2.5 flash this time. So this model is really fast. Let's give him a second prompt. We want to copy it into one file and run it in our brother. And now he is creating the actual code. Okay, that looks really cool. He's creating it on the right side. And it looks like he's styling. And if he's styling, maybe it will look better than the previous one. So let's give him a couple more seconds. As last time, let's copy that code in a new index.html and run it in our browser. Oh wow, what is this? Is this a preview window? I've never seen a preview window in Germany. Okay, maybe that's a good reason to use Germany. We have archers, we have knights. They should be different. They should be different. So knights should have more HP and archers should make more damage, I presume. But I think from the code it's not like this. So it would be smartest just to spawn archers. And it will take some time. The enemies are fight balance. I'm surprised it works. So they attacked my tower already but that doesn't mean we're not striking back. So we have one knight going to the top left tower. Okay our bottom right is being attacked and I think we can spawn a lot of troops and overwhelm him. The, the opponent is strong but we are definitely stronger and now we are just winning. Okay if you ask me I think Gemini clearly won here because we had a game and it was balanced and I like the mechanics that I actually had to do something to win and not with it. Thanks Tef for the inspiration for this great video. Have a nice day and see you soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you back in next video.